Hey, Keith and Gustavo over at Seriously Strong Training. Today we're gonna to show you how to do conventional deadlifts from the blocks. We use this as a teaching tool, uh, as a progression for getting learning how to do barbell deadlifts from the floor. Every single person that we teach at our gym how to do deadlifts does this progression. Uh, it doesn't matter how experienced they are, how inexperienced they are, this is so valuable for you to learn how to do the movement that it is something that if you haven't given a shot or you're looking at doing deadlifts for the first time, make sure you give these a shot, they're, they're amazing. Um, so we've got it set up here. These are two inch blocks. We have four of them on each side, so we're starting at eight inches here. And what that means for Gustavo at his height is that's gonna put it just below the knee. This is a pretty good starting point. If you're someone who's taller, you may need to bring it, bring it up a little bit. If you're someone who's shorter, it may be appropriate for you to lower it a little bit. If you're someone who's got great control over your body or you're super flexible, maybe you can get away with going lower. If you're someone who's a little, you know you're a little bit tighter, maybe your hips are tight, your back's tight, shoulders are tight, that kind of stuff, it's going to be behoove you to start with it a little bit higher. Um, I would say that always err on the side of starting too high with these and starting too low because you can always lower it rather quickly as you make sure that you're hitting all the check boxes for what makes something a great deadlift. What makes something a great deadlift, remember, is that we have our shoulders back, down, We've got a good arch through the back. We're going to have our knees opened up a little bit. We're going to have our butt out. So those are all things that we're going to be looking for when we're doing this progression. Um, I'm not going to get too much into the specific specifics of great deadlift technique. That's for another video. But today I'm going to show you how to use the blocks to reinforce great technique in a deadlift. So Gustavo is going to go ahead and get into his starting position. Remember, the higher the, the, the barbell is when we're doing these deadlifts, the easier it's going to be to learn it, right? A very advanced deadlift variation is a deficit where the bar is even lower than normal. Um, so it makes sense that starting with the barbell on blocks higher than normal is a little bit easier to learn how to do the technique correctly. So we've got our shoulders down and back. We're going to stand up with that bar, keep it close the whole time. We're going to lower it by keeping it really close as well. Something really, really important when you're doing these is listen to how softly Gustavo sets it down. Very, very gently. Why is that important? Because without the blocks there, you're going to need to bring the bar down lower. You're going to need to be able to bring the bar down all the way to the ground. If you get in the habit, and it's a really bad habit, of setting the barbell down hard at this high position, when you have the bar on the ground or not on blocks, you're going to relax your body before you reach the ground, which puts you into a pretty dangerous position to be in because you're disengaging the core muscles, the things that are gonna keep your spine nice and safe. Um, so remember, make sure that you're being really gentle with these. And make sure you're checking all the boxes for a great deadlift. Shoulders nice and back, uh, squeeze down, lats engaged, curve here in the low back, knees driving out. And then so since his deadlifts look great here, we're gonna go down a little bit lower. And again, the important part here is that you're working your way down slowly. If you need it to be more challenging, slow the movement down. Take your time, give yourself a little bit more time under tension, and that's going to be a great way to challenge yourself while still reinforcing great technique. If you're new to deadlifts, or if you are working on perfecting your form, it's going to pay dividends to take your time with this. Take your time with the movement, take your time with the progression, work your way down slowly. You're going to work your way down doing these, and it can be in one session, it can be over multiple sessions, it can be over weeks. It doesn't matter because what you're doing here is you're learning how to do the, the movement correctly and safely, most importantly. Um, so what we're going to do when we're doing this is we're working our way down a little bit at a time to make sure that this, this, the technique stays high quality. If you get down to the point where your technique is starting to suffer and you can't correct it, you need to go back, back up a little bit and work at that height until you can maintain that great technique at a lower position. And that may come from you just reinforcing uh, technique by doing more deadlifts. It may also come from you needing to do more mobility work or maybe strengthening some of the smaller muscles that are involved like your core or maybe some of the back muscles that are going to be responsible for keeping the shoulders 
down and back while you're doing this movement. So again, those are deadlifts uh, from blocks. Great teaching tool, great progression. Give it a shot, take your time, start high.